Happy Turn the Clocks Back today. This is my last day of shooting for this project. As you can see, I did install my project on the wall. Maybe temporary, but it's up on the wall to show you what it looks like. I'm trying to finish off this project and the last two things I'm doing are attaching a cable it's supposed to simulate uh, the cable for the trolley <clears throat> and I'm working on this waterfall it's almost there I need more work on it so let me turn this on for you while I explain it take a pencil and underneath here there's a hole you just push up and it'll turn it on. Okay. Okay, let me show you how to remove the frame if I need to get inside. Clean the glass. So we just pull up. It comes right out. Now we can access the inside. In this case, I'm just going to clean the glass. I saw a few smudges on the... You can see on the inside of here, Okay, you can see this project is now 100% complete. I just added um, a coat of satin polyurethane to the frame. I really like the color. This project cost me, let's see, uh, most of the project I just used material from around the house. So I spent $80 on the museum glass, which was the most expensive. Uh, about $52 on the trolley and I believe it was about $12 on some trees. 
but besides that um, everything else came from inside the house from previous projects uh, the frame came from a um, a pallet that I had delivered for mulch in the early spring so 80 50 so about 140 150 dollars for this whole project just not too bad if I left the glass out um, it obviously would have been a lot less expensive that was the majority of the money I used um, and actually after I started building it I thought about leaving the glass out but I wanted to finish the project on how I designed it so I put it in and I am happy with it but it's um, it was a real pain to uh, clean there's I can actually see a few spots on the other side still I don't know uh, this is museum glass if it's a lot harder to clean or not but uh, it's turned out well okay so some of the things I added to this project um, since the last video are the power lines and the brackets on top of the bridge you have to look real close but there is a small little line to uh, simulate the power line for the trolley and then obviously a uh, big change is I added a waterfall I used uh, cotton and some realistic water to make that. Uh, I got that idea from uh, a video I watched, uh, Steve Trains. Uh, I believe he used cotton. Uh, I've never seen that before. So I tried it and it worked out. I actually like uh, how it turned out. So this wraps up the project. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, look out for uh, additional videos in the future. Thanks.